Welcome back to Leather's Angling Adventures, back out again. Today we're out with a fair few subscribers. Uh, Shane, the oldest cod father, who mixes on YouTube videos. I've got Scott next to me as well, hardcore fisherman. Ian Sea Fishing Adventures, I think. I'm, I'm sorry, Ian, if I've got that wrong. Uh, yeah, we're down with a few. So hopefully we can catch a few fish today. Uh, we did go up there to Withensee Poo Pipe and if you can zoom in you'll see it's like the Withensee Open down there, the Brid Open There's Gaza Yeah, it's like the Brid Open, can you see it in the distance? So, it's quite busy down there So I'm also here with my good lady Tina She's doing the camera work she didn't want to fish, I did ask her to see if she wanted to fish today, but she said I'd rather be be out the camera. And then, we're still having a go with these mics. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I think I might have got it sussed. <laughs> I did a few tests the other day when I was out with him, see with Thomas. So. We had the camera running two minutes ago, when she run down for you. Oh yeah, I'd, we windsock come off, and uh, to be fair, they were a bit slack. I'm going to get Tina to put it a bit, bit better on than when it is. Anyway, I've had my first cast, I've just put my TZ out with a squid head and a bit of squid on it. Uh, we did just a single pattern oster. So hopefully, fingers crossed and all that, we can catch a few fish. <laughs> yeah, so we'll... Yeah. It's nice to be out with Scott, he's next door to me, hardcore fisherman. And Shane, the honest codfather. So I'll give, give them a check out on their channel, and Ian. Ian the Sea Fishing, I think it's called. So I do apologise, Ian, if I ain't got it right, but... Yeah, he's, he's on there. I'll put a little link in anywhere to all the channels. There's a few down here as well today, so... There's been some nice hounds being caught recently. There's plenty of colour in the sea as well. It's got a nice colour in it. Hopefully it won't drop out. <laughs> so we're now in June. It's finally got into June already. And we've got beautiful sunshine. Uh, oh, oh, I've left my shades. Oh, I had some shades as well. <laughs> Left him in the car, must have done. Never mind. Just a, there's a bit of a wind on it northwestly. It's just got a little bit of a chill on it, but. And Scott's just going to have another cast out. Yeah, I, I will put the other rod out as well. But I just wanted to put one out for now. So, yeah, it's nice to be back out again. Say that wind's just gusting a little bit, so right. I'll bring you back if anything happens and we get anything. Right, I've had a little move because it was all a bit tight in there for me. Uh, so we moved up the beach a little bit just to give ourselves a bit of space. It's a bit cramped in there. <laughs> Yeah, I can get me other rod out now, because it would have been everybody's on top of each other. It's not being unsociable, but it's just fishing properly, that's all. So yeah, I brought that in and was now on that cast. Scott's just had a bite as well. A good bite while I was stood with him, so... What did the guy in the pink It looked like a small small bat, wasn't it? There's a guy up there, he had uh, a small small van, I think. So right. I'll bring you back when I get the other rod set up and sorted. Now we'll go through everything that we're doing. All right, we'll see you soon. All right, welcome back. I've got both rods out now. Uh, me have both over and I'll show you something I'm using today anyway. I'll bring you over. Old school. Not see many of them reels about nowadays. In fish with seven HTs. Tower tournament. 
there's no mags in it like the old one the new one sorry but yeah it's still in good nick i've had that years absolute years so i'm gonna cast close with it today it's got brake blocks in centrifugal brake box it has no mags but yeah there's my rod set up seen them before tz500 abu sovran tournament i've got that one out at distance with squid both got squid on actually Tina's gone for a walk actually. Ah, huh, it's another little new item. Tina bought me this bucket here. It's a fold up one. Just for washing my hands and if I get a flounder or something. Or a whiting or something. A small, put it in there to revive. It's a good idea. But yeah, it's really nice to be back. I've only got that one, just done a little overhead thump with it. So hopefully we'll be better with these mics today. And oh, fingers crossed that there's going to be some fish. Tide's starting to make its way in now. I think our water today is somewhere around about six, half past six. I was going to go out in the morning, but it means an early start at two o'clock. So, But Shane, Shane, Shane was going to come and Scott, so I thought, all right, I'll pop along. And they're all down there, look. I've just moved up a little bit from them. There's the glank. Let's see if I can zoom in. First one's Gazza, the second one's Scott. Shane's right in the distance. Is Ian in there as well? Oh, I know. And one of the subscribers who subscribes to the channel. So, yeah, they're all down there. Look at that sea conditions, looks lovely. Just fingers crossed and we can get a fish. So yeah, welcome back to, this is Windensea. Uh, that's pool pipe. So we're in between, it's sort of like Windensea South Side really. There's been a little bit of mare rock when I brought in. And she has walked miles. Tina's gone miles down there. Gone nearly back to poo pipe. <laughs> we haven't had any bites such yet. I've seen one fish come out up there. It's early dodge yet. Yeah, I'm gonna have a cup of tea. Something to eat. You know the score. I'll bring you back if anything happens. Like I say, I've got one further out and I've got one close in. So like 50, 60 yards. Just see if there's anything close in, because they do come quite close, everything. Small, small round, skate, dogfish. All right, I'll bring you back. Yeah, dogfish on the on the circle look. <laughs> oh well, that saves a blank. Yeah. We've got I was that far out, I don't think uh that mirror what's on the line. So yeah we've got a dog fishing. Yeah, we haven't blanked. Oh, wash custom bloody Oh, ah oh, my bucket, yeah. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Put him in there a minute. Just give him a sec. Yeah, off the mat here. Yeah, I've yeah, got one anywhere. Didn't register that though, did I? Because yeah, I'm, but I said to you, I thought you did sort of seen a bite. Yeah. Is it you're having in there, look? Oh. There's not a bad size one actually. So yeah, dogfish. I know, I know people don't like them, but it, a fish is a fish. You've still got to catch them. Yeah, <laughs> so that's the first one. Just got to get him back properly now. Yeah. Right, we'll go do that now, he looks all right. Yeah, he does. <sighs> Just make sure you don't get anything, eh? Do you have a look at the snow's ears? This looks like he's... 64. 64 centimetres. It's not a bad size. Yeah.
I'm just gonna make sure they go back so I'm gonna wear it out a bit. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea a dogfish but <laughs> you still gotta look after them out they're, they're a fish. I'll throw them a bit so it goes. Let's make sure. They have a tendency to get washed back up again. <laughs> I'll get Tina to keep her eye out. But I'll get another cast out. That was on squid. Just, just do us a favour, Tina. You just keep an eye out and make sure it doesn't get washed back up again. I'll just go a bit up. So yeah, <laughs> we got the dogfish. Be careful with this mirror up because it can clog your your multipliers up a little bit. Just check that lead. Put another squid head on. Right, serves a blank. <laughs> Can't see in the sun. Yeah, that's my squid gone. Squid head, yeah. So I'm going to put another one on. Very underestimated bit, that. A lot of people chuck them. I don't know why they do. <laughs> I really don't. Cut loads of fish on squid head. I just like to bait them up like that. Look. Just put them through a couple of times. The fish don't know any different. Turn that bit of cotton off so it doesn't tangle up. Let's get a bit of thread. Go back on the cells. Now whip them just up the line. Oop, not with the <laughs> snudding. You got the ink off the eyes as well. I don't know if that's attractive or what, but. Wee, that's sharp. I certainly like them. Just make sure that up point's clear now, that's all. That's that's the secret. Anyway, it wants to be a bit tidy like to send it out and stuff. Oh, missed it. <laughs> Let's clean that up that end. Put the circle up back in there. That was hooked on the circle as well. Let's get rid of the rubbish. So it's all neat and tidy. Right. Right, I'll put these magnets on because, uh, like I say, the mirror. rot. I'll do a little cast. I'm going to go up here a bit because there's a bit of tad. As you know, I like to walk up tad, me. Well, well up tad. The colour stop there anyway. I'm just gonna do a nice nice steady cast. They're flying today, they really are flying. <laughs> Going well. And that's with a big bait on that. The wind's kicked getting it. I'll just show you that. Look. I'm only up the beach a few yards. 
but that reel's absolutely full to the top so they're really flying today with the wind it's a good casting day i think <laughs> yeah i've got an, it's a northwesterly they're always a good casting wind and like i say i put a decent size bait on there I'm just watching that colour though, because it is coming a bit closer. <laughs> so we're off the mark with the fish. I know it's only a dogfish, but we've got one. Let's see if we can catch anything else. Oh, I'll tell you what, a bit of set there, because there's been a few big hounds about, so. Right, I'll bring you back. We'll have something to eat. I'm hungry now. <laughs> Turn the mic on. There we are, a couple of small hands. Got at the same time. Me and guys have got one each. Well chuffed. A few fish coming out today. I'm well pleased with that. Guys is just gonna put his back. And that's a nice fish as well. So give him a right to grab that one. And Gaz is just gonna return his first. Finding a spot to put it back. We've returned it now. Uh, we didn't get a welly full of water then, guys. So yeah, I'm going to put his fish back now. Nice fish, nearly six, six and a half, seven pound-ish. Good, good fish. Did me right. Like I said, good scrap mat did. <laughs> so, got the shades on as well. Right, I'm going to return this now. So let's see if we can get some more. There's been some big ones. They're coming to <laughs> When returning these fish, you must make sure they go back. It's very important. They're a wonderful creature and you need looking after. It swells a bit thingy. And it could get washed back up again. So I've got to make sure. Tin spotted it. It's running on, on top, going out to sea now, so safely returned. Yeah, well chuffed for that. Let's get another. I think it's come off. <laughs> I think it's come off. So I've had that now he's swimming toward me. It's a good fish this. That took some land that. This is a good fish left played properly. <laughs> Stuff the mare rot. It's swimming right towards me as well. Just can't keep hold of it, can't keep in touch with it. Just follow me Tane.
Wow, it's another big one. Ah. Ah. That is a big fish. Look at that one. That's a good one. <laughs> God, he had some power. God, he has got some strength. Right, we'll get him unhooked and get him sorted out. Right in the mouth. That took some land, didn't it? Ah. Let me get, see if I can get back up. Uh, that was on prawn. Oh, God, he's strong. Right, I think I'm gonna get, get a picture. I'll get to in you are at the rod turn. We'll put him, instead of, because we're a bit away from the camera now, we'll just get a picture. Yeah. So there we go, another smooth round off the Ordnance Coast. That gave me a right good take, that was. The reel screamed off. <laughs> it's had a right battle, so yeah, we're going to put this fella back now. <laughs> if he don't beat me up. It's about, it's about the same size, isn't it? Got to make sure they go back. Whew, that really went. That was a brilliant take. Just make sure he's gone back. Very important. That was a good take. I'm just making sure he's gone back, that's all. That was a nice fish again. I think he's all right. Whew, so that's two small rounds. Be about the same size, nearly six and a half, seven pound. If I get a real big one, I'll weigh it properly. Right, hopefully, camera's work, uh, recording that one. I've got loads of mirror on here. I didn't get a picture of that one, did I? No. <laughs> oh, did you? Did you get a picture? Yeah. Right, we'll have another cast. That was on prawn, king prawn. Just turn it off now, turn you on. Quite off caught now. One of my favourite fish. A turbot. Yes, I'm well pleased with that. Yeah, get in. Brilliant out of them. Well chuffed, hey, well chuffed for that. So a different species for the season. Another one, another one off the tit list. I thought it was a small farm back at first when I pulled it in. The size of the mouse on them, They're massive. Look at the size of that. Right, I'm going to get a little quick picture and put her back. So, uh, yeah, we're having a couple of fish today, different species. All right. Yeah. Big's that? <laughs> 28 centimetres. Right, I'm going to go put it back. So, uh, yeah, so we're done all right. We had two small rounds, a dogfish and a turbot. So it's not been a bad session, all right. Right, we'll get some more fish if we can get some more. <coughs> Just go show thing in. I'll just go show Scott. Right, I'll just show you what I'm using on the other rod when I got that turbot. Using my own rig, uh, 36 pattern Oster. I've got uh, a Wano Sakuma, I'll just get that bit of cotton off. So cool, my circle look on top. I've got mackerel and sand eel in the tour, uh, big mouth, very vast hook. Yeah, so I'm just switching it up a little bit. 
They aren't casting very far, are they? I don't know if you can see me over here. That colour is actually dropping out. You can see it real bad. I'm going to be casting over there somewhere, so... Setting that a bit too far, actually. <laughs> Try one out there, anyway. Yeah, I didn't mean to cast that far. A lot of fish are coming closer in, but the colour's dropped out a little bit further out. Can't see down here, but I think it has. Right, let's see if we can get any more. So, so far, the session's going okay. Like I said, two small rounds. Uh, biggest about, I think that was probably a little bit bigger, I don't know, maybe around the same size. So anywhere between six and seven pound. We've had a dogfish and we've had a, just had a nice turbot. So it's not been a bad session really. And the lads down the way, they've had a few fish as well. So everybody seems to be catching. Nice day to be out again there, the sun's out. All I want now is a fern back. If I can catch a fern back, it'd be nice. That would be nice. So we're at three species already. <laughs> Right, I'll bring you back. Uh, just had another bite on the TZ. It's just dropped back. I don't know if that was a fly. I've got one on the other rod as well, <laughs> I think. Yeah, it's slack lamb, isn't it? Slack lamb. Right. Just sort this camera up. Maybe down there somewhere. Yeah, I've got slack lamb. What a lovely evening to be out on the beach. It's 
just going to watch this swell in on this mayrot. It's horrible. <laughs> A lot of mayrot. Makes it awkward when you're reeling in. I've got a funny feeling this is a dogfish or a small owl. Loads of that mare rock. Might be an owl. <laughs> Let's walk up now. Yeah, it is. it's an owl. That's on the prawn again. So you just woke up now. <laughs> Set the clutch, just in case it wants to go. Got the lead in early here. This swells a bit though. That's only a small one. Not a bad one. <laughs> All about the same size. Okay. It's a bit smaller than that one. It's on circle look again. So we've got another round. That's three we've had. You can see the prawn that. In its mouth. Got on that prawn again. Yeah, that prawn. So yeah, I'll get him out the sun, just in case. So that's fish number three, smooth round, sorry, and that's number five, isn't it? Yeah, we'll put him back. Let's see if we can get another. I had another bite on the other one as well. <laughs> so there's a few fish coming out today at the south of Withering Sea. Scott's just had another one as well, he's getting a few. I can't see how Shane's doing. Let's get this fella back. On it, because there's a bit of swell, they'll come back in. Just gotta make sure they go back. Very important, absolute must. Just to check. I think he's all right. Can't see him, can you? This is a swell, it'll push him up, you see. They get disorientated. And you've got to look after him. Spending five minutes now is, is worth it, just worth it. I think he's all right, he's gone, I think. Right, we'll get baited up. That's on them king prawns again. I'll show you them anyway, when I go back up here. Tina got me them. I tried the other prawns, but I didn't like them much. But these ones, <laughs> they seem to be working. So yeah, that's what we got, look. They're, they're um, actually. I'm just cutting a little bit of the tail off there and wiping that on. So the smell rounds are liking them anyway. We'll get another one out. Right, I'll go pick this up. I'm just taking that bit of the tail off there. I did make a mistake earlier last time. I chopped the head off, but all the juices are in there. And uh, I lost them all, so I'm baiting it up that way. <laughs> the knife bash into it, I <laughs> know that. I'll just clean all this off. Comes off quite well as well. <laughs> yeah, the bite on that rod as well. It's only a little one. It's nice to get a few fish though. It is nice to get a few fish. And I think all the lads are catching anyway, so 
There seem to be plenty of fish there now. It's a bit of a slow start, but we expect it on the honest coast. As most places, we'll fish three hours up and three hours down. Not saying that we'll catch them at other times, like, but yeah, I'm just going to put that through there, all the way through, as far as I can get. It will come out about halfway if I can get hold of it. And then what I've been doing, sliding that up, getting hold of the hook, and just turning it back on itself. So I keep all them juices in that head there. Make sure the point's clear. Just like so, and then I whip that on. Like that. Get me cotton. Well, well, when I start. Again, just make sure that point's clear. It's very important. And I just put quite a bit of that on, cotton. Quite a decent bit, but they're not bothered anyway, they're just all taking it. And that's enough of that. Take that a little bit off and just get the circle up. Just reverse it back into that. And there you go. One king prone. Ready to go out. Right, I better wash my rig. Still got quite a bit of mirror on my reel. I've got to be careful casting <laughs> because when you're winding a fish in, yeah, that's just to keep them rotary clips clean. I was told that by a couple of lads, so that's what I'm doing. And they've been working every single time, they've come off every single time. So I'm very impressed with them. Go careful because my reel, it's not very good. This lot, there's all this mirror on your reel. Right, I'm gonna go cast out. There's some people coming by, too. Big bait that. <laughs> a doggy there washed up. Is it? Oh, it's a dead one. Died that one. Dogfish dead on the beach. That's why you gotta watch. These fish like that happening. I don't know if uh, you can just see down there some people walking by. Why we move the gear back? There's a deep hole here. And I was worried about the tide coming over the top. So just keep an eye out on things like that. Because it will come over the top and uh, it'll be quite deep in here. I like to clean that line off. <laughs> I think it's about our water now. So I'm going to bring the other rod on. Well, well, Tina's got that camera, I'm going to bring that one in because I had a bite on there and it's gone well down tired, so... <laughs> it's white over there. I don't know if I've got a fish on here as well.
probably that mare rot. This might take a while to bring in because it did go very far. <laughs> It's a lovely night, absolutely. I should say evening. I'd like to thank Shane showing me this spot anyway. So thanks Shane. First time I've fished here actually. I think ever in my life. I love this rod, this Abu Silveran. It's got a lovely bend in that tip. And it wasn't that beer. It was 170 pound a few years ago, a fair few years ago. Which lovely, it's absolutely got a wonderful tip on it. It's a glass tip it is. It's not carbon. Thank you. But it's a lovely rod. Anyway, enough of that laughing, let's concentrate on this. This mere rock look. anything when you're a long way out is bringing it all back in with all that on <sighs> anything when it's seven HC and got very fast retrieve, not like the pens. I'm sorry it's taken a bit to get in, but like I said, the wind's be out me and I'm really getting a decent cast away. I hope you can hear me with this mic anyway. some mare up there. That's what's taking the time as well, you've got to clean it off. Can't be far away now. That sand's soft in there. If it's going to the shallows. I'll have to just get that mirror off in a minute. It's horrible. Wow, we are. Look at that, another pouting. Another cracking pouting. So, we're up to five species now. <laughs> another pouting. <laughs> so, I've had two pouting. Nice. Yeah, it's again. Again in the circle. Right, let's get that rod on my shoulder. 
another nice pouting. So we're having a right mixed bag today. That was on mackerel, that, so mackerel and sand ale. All right, we'll get it put back. <laughs> Getting locked up in the fishing rod. I thought it was an adder cut first. <laughs> that sounds soft. Uh, bloody mare rot. <laughs> it's horrible. So we've had five different species today. Is it five? Dogfish, small round. You might have to go that way, do you? See how it's cutting in behind me? That's why I got the gear across. That's what you gotta watch. This mayrot's all over my land. Can cause you to bear's nest on the multiplier as well. Let's see if I can get a bit off. I don't know if I've had another bite on this rod. Have a look. That's why it pays to have waders on. <laughs> up there we all. Everybody's off the beach up there. Oh. I haven't, it's a bag. I've got a paper bag on my line. Oh, no. Uh, no. And a paper bag. Oh, correction, it's only four species I've had. I haven't had five. <laughs> so I do apologise. But I have had five fish. There's a paper bag on my line. <laughs> So we'll leave it a bit longer. Right, bring you back, see if anything happens. It's nearly out water now. On my video, there's a man. What a great lad this lad is. Scott. Hi everybody. Hardcore fisherman. Go check his channel out, he's absolutely brilliant lad. He had a few on board? Yeah, yeah, I've had four rounds yeah. and uh, doggy. Oh, good, good man. I think it's about seven pounds. Yeah, yeah. I've just had a pouting, Scott. Did you? You have a right mixed bag. Yeah, again. Yeah. Mixed bag again, another pouting. Yeah, another one. So, we've had a bloody tear, but dog, uh, some more rounds and that. It's been a nice day, really. It is, yeah. Just slowed off, haven't they? Yeah, they've just slowed off a bit. But... I've been catching on, you know, the hounds on yeah. their big massive prawns, you know, wow. the, the big king prawns. Yeah, same as Dazzler, he had a monkey. Oh, no, I what you got squid. squid yeah i tried the prawn as i said i've had a few good rattles on the prawn but just not getting into them so i am getting too close and intimate scott i'm just trying to get you on my it's mic it's all right <laughs> that's all right mate. yeah <laughs> not that way no we're not that way inclined are we no we're not <laughs> <laughs> but it's great to be fishing with you again it is, bud. Yeah, yeah it certainly is it's nice to see you out again it bud. it's nice to see you out again always the one that i tell you what i've just been watching you cast i tell you what you can build a lead mate you can yeah. chuck a lead I've been watching you chuck out. So, so yeah. Need, if, you you want to, if you want to see some casting, go to this lad. I tell you what, he can half whack it out. Mm. I've been watching you from over here. Yeah, it's good though. <laughs> yeah. Are you getting them further out as well? Yeah, I've been getting mine quite far out. But yeah. Sleeper rod, my little pike rod out. Have you? Yeah, I've had a pull on that. Have I've you? Been, what? Yeah, <laughs> I thought, because I saw it bent, yeah. So I thought, God, he's got, right <laughs> I thought he's got a real bigger one there. I love it. 
more funner than the big rod. The big yeah. rod, yeah, it's fun, but when you get on a lighter rod, you just like Fairly coming, coming in. in, yeah. I'd, I'd last year I had a almond bass rod, you know, my bass yeah. rod. Oh, it's great fun. Smooth hounds. It is, isn't it? They're it's really great. good, aren't they? <laughs> Some did, people say it's funner to use your bass rods than ours. This is a bit deep, Scott, isn't it? Yeah, that been what coming around me, and I thought, well, I didn't know whether it was going to come further in or what, so I moved back a bit. I don't. It's top time don't, now. It's, it's bang on. Yeah. Shane said they were still under an hour to go, and then Gazza just showed me, and I, I believe what Gazza said off these. Yeah. And you got the iron and the one over there and it said it's top just about now. I just keep looking, I just think, has the colour dropped out? But then I look further off and I can see it, you know, yeah, quite, yeah, it's quite out. Colour, yeah, it? it is, yeah. Right out, you can see the blue still. So. Tell me fishing, Tull Scott. Ready? <laughs> fish whenever. Yeah. We might just turn back up again, I see yeah. them in shoals. Sure, yeah. Like, the, 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 Drive off you just get like you that. just get a patch and then it's uh, yeah, another you got bit. Yeah, you quick on them, aren't you? Really? Yeah, you I have. You are quick on them, you don't get so many. Always have one baited up just in case. I better get that in the water, haven't I, Scott? <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> <laughs> 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 I'm going to I'm not, chuck, I'm not chucking this one very far. This one, like no, you don't have no, to no, I don't know how deep that is. Yeah, go check out Adcore Fisherman. He's brilliant. What a lad. I don't know if my clip's uh, shot down a bit. That's a bit better. that works Scott in if you put one in and out don't you yeah one in one out for our big one because you can go about the fish sometimes can't you yeah yeah it's a lovely night isn't it it is it's beautiful, beautiful isn't it crazy it's just right to pull you down yeah. it's a bit warm when you start getting into something it was good early on when the wind was behind you because you're getting a good cast weren't you it was, yeah <coughs> but yeah like i said it's really nice to see you back out in class oh, been a while since we've been together it is, it? Yeah, it's been a little while i think the last time we was out was when i fell in the water what? yeah were you found? <laughs> i went yeah. where does fall up fall when you went across that bank yeah, yeah. I hit one of the rocks and just sunk slowly i was like oh no i know Use my tripod as a wash line stand to dry everything. Yeah, I remember that, that day? That's a bit back now, isn't it? Back some years, that, isn't it? It's a couple of years, isn't it? I can't believe it, man. I lost my phone and everything. <laughs> that day. Oh, because me and Shane was watching, and Shane was going, I hope he's going to be all right out there. Yeah, it's all there. It's Filled up the way, does full. Things you do, Scott, eh? Oh, yeah, just for a bit extra stuff. Should have just waited, but never mind. You learn. Yeah. Not a well, yeah. I don't think I've learned yet. <laughs> 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 oh. no, it's been a pleasure. Absolute yeah, pleasure. Yeah. Just turn on again. And yeah. Once just start coming through. Even a bass would do now. Do you know, I'm after Scott, a little thorn back if I can get yeah. one. It's just to top it off. I've only heard of one, and that guy right on the end, he had a thorn back earlier. Did he? Plenty of smoothies. Yeah. I don't think anyone will ask them, I'll just one up to now. The bloody god, they're mounds, aren't they? <laughs> they yeah. So. That last one, it took the line off the rail, I had my clutch set, and yeah. it just, I thought it was a big one, I did, I thought it was yeah. real big. But where it was, it, cause it was up to its tail as well, I couldn't control yeah. it. No, it was just going for I thought it was into my big one. I was yeah, it was just carrying me down the beach. Wow. I wish I'd have got the take on the rail, because it just went yeah. screaming off. Yeah. But there's been some big ones about, haven't there, Scott, as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah. Shane said there's been a few about 17. Yeah, pounds. there's some big ones, yeah. It's not bad, that. It's a good size, that. isn't it? Yeah, it is. My PB is £7.5, which ain't too bad. That's all right, isn't it? Yeah, it's not bad. Don't me. 
it's about catching fish got in it so just yeah. enjoying the day that's and that's the main thing it's just enjoying yeah, yourself self, yeah. with people and just having a laugh and enjoying the weather can't get this set indoors no you, can't, you won't catch him at all it is brilliant you know. it, I call him a gentleman I always call him a gentleman yeah we always have a good laugh He's always got a smile on his face because Scott, what, no matter what happens, you know, that's if it, if have a bad thing, yeah. got a smile on his face. Yeah. I, he texted me the other day and he says, oh, I'm feeling a bit down, John. I says, just put the camera in front of you and go fishing and just enjoy it, Shane. That's just what just do what you're doing because he, he's, he's always got a smile on his face. He has, yeah. One. Has he? He's had a doggy and lost a small round about 20 yards out. No, they've been saying that there's loads of dogfish, Scott. Do you know any reports? Yeah. 14 dogfish and stuff, right? I've had one today. I've had and you've had one, haven't you? Yeah. And Shane's had one, apparently. Have you seen many up there? No. Shane's was a massive one. Was it? Honest. Was I it didn't a see it real big one? said it was massive. For a dogfish, like. I don't mind them, mate. Some people don't like them, do they? But no, I don't mind. It's, it's a fish, isn't it? It is. It beats the blank. The fight are well. Yeah. It just gives you a good scrap. Having a cute little fish. Well, yeah, white. Yeah, yeah. Gazza had a white. Yeah, yeah. I did. I that, was that white? Yeah, we went to some of and it was a white. Yeah, because he went like that to me. He went. Well, excited and got a white. He was only saying to me, "Oh, you've done really well. You haven't got a dogfish, mate. You've done really well." And then suddenly I get a dogfish. I thought, "Cheers, Gaz, <laughs> putting the dogfish on to me." I don't mind them. I prefer to catch a small bit. Yeah, yeah. I've had too many dogfish. <laughs> Oh, what a lovely night. It's beautiful, mate, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. How else would you want to be on a night? I know. Like you better suck it all in, haven't you, and just enjoy oh, it. Oh, yeah. Got to enjoy it. It's part good for your health, all the fresh air. You sleep well when you get in. You do, yeah. You get a good sleep after all this, yeah. I hope I'm picking you up on this, mate, Scott, anyway. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> Sometimes I can be a bit quiet. Yeah, a bit like so it, a bit, I'm like that, Scott. Yeah. I'm, I'm really lost speaking. Yeah, I don't. I, yeah, you can do now. Yeah, we've had a good shot. <laughs> Another dogfish. <laughs> Another dogfish. I wonder why it was heavy. Oh, he's coughing his all his stuff up. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> nice little dogfish. I'll just give him a wash. There we go. Is that fish number seven? Yeah, I've been corrected by my director. Uh, seven fish. So, right, we'll put this little fella back. It's another fish anyway. So. to chuck it really well there because I don't want it to get washed up. Alright, that was a mackerel again. <coughs> and Tad's, I think Tad's going back down now. <laughs> this is quite deep this. <laughs> so yeah, we've got another fish. Right, I think we'll be only having another couple of casts soon and then uh, I might be making my way home. It's getting a bit cold now as well. So we've had a few fish anyway. Just had about two bites actually, one on each rod. Gaz has done all right today, hasn't he? He's had a nice farm back just now and he's had a eight pound smooth hound. So well done, Gaz. We've had seven fish today, so and four different species. <laughs> yeah, just slack line mate has. I 
I've just done some up there as well. Put one of my specials out. <laughs> Went to get a phone back, so hopefully it might pay off. I've been using prawns for them smooth rounds, but. Tide's just starting to turn now and go back down. Just got to make sure it's not a thorny. It's slacking me off a bit. It's typical, you put the camera on <laughs> and it stops. Been stopped again. Every time you put the camera on, <laughs> every time you put the camera on, it stops. I'm still good bites, I'm on there. Just drop back, they have. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, come to the end of the session now. Uh, Tad's going back. We've had a few fish today and a few species so I'm going to be pulling in now it's time to go home it's been a nice day out on the beach we've got you a few fish for the camera so again thank you to all the subscribers that subscribe to the channel and everybody who gives me a like I just takes time looking at the channel really appreciate it for everybody at Levels Angling Adventures but you can see me bringing in now. All the lads are packing up now, so it's time to go. Before it gets too dark, I can get up that cliff there. It's not the best to get downs <laughs> up there, is it? Right, I'm going to bring this uh, Abu in first. You might be able to zoom in, I think. It's a bit gully here, she won't be able to come across now. <coughs> Yeah, it's been great, really. Nice to catch a fish on my last cast. Great fishing with 7 HT again today. There's the Mayrot's come back on. Hope you can see me from that. I think it has actually. Just gone slack actually. Unless it was coming out of a big sandbank. <laughs> Slack again now. It's gone totally slack. <laughs> well, if I got a lead on, I think the rig's come off. I know. Don't know what that was about. Yeah, it's not on being on there. It's the grabs, I think. It's just sticking in because his sand's real soft. So there's not one, that one. 
No, I'm there right as well, so I think it was just the, the sand is really soft down there. <laughs> so that's the first one in. I was catching on different baits as well today, so, so that's the first one in. But the sand's real soft out there too. I'll bring this one in now. I don't think there's out on this one either, so seem the fish have disappeared for some reason. To just run through the fish and then that's it. It's been enjoyable catching a few fish, been back out on the beach, and a new and new for me. That has not been now. Right, let's get it on. Get something to eat. So as always, thank you for watching, don't forget, give us a like, share and subscribe, really appreciate it. So until the next one, take care everyone and I'll see you soon, bye everyone. <coughs>